uh, you know, lifelong friends, you know, Ben, little Ben, who's here now, showed up uh, as a woofer through the woof program uh, like three and a half years ago and is still here. And, and was not even necessarily interested in farming. He was just, he came, you know, you he was know? 18 and trying to have an adventure and woofed and came to us and just like, uh, well, it's been three and a half years, he's still here. And so he's basically a full time partner. And we have friends we still keep in touch with, I'd say, at least a third to half of the woofers that have been through here. We still count as good friends. A lot of the woofers that have come here, even if they moved on from here, they, they stayed in this area. And so they pop in and they live here now. And, uh, and just all the stuff that got done would have never got done with all the woofers that, we, that we've had, you know. And we still get emails from people asking us how we're doing. And, stuff like that so it's been a great it's been a great experience overall well it's a cool way to kind of bring the world to the farm since we can't get off the farm and travel the world but we've had people from other countries who you know just are in awe of how different things are here and we get to have sort of cultural exchange with people and people from the cities and stuff like that so that's another thing. That's been uh, something really cool is just the way that, you know, a lot of our woofers are like uh, maybe kids from the suburbs, you know, who didn't, didn't quite feel at home where they grew up, you know, like, and to just see them come out here and sort of come alive. Finally. You know, their personality just didn't fit where they were from, you know, maybe, and coming here and being out in the wide open spaces in a rural area and learning skills and learning to work something they had maybe never had before and seeing that kind of stir in them is also like been really rewarding 